This is, um, this is mental. For the past four days, every drop of water I have drank has come out of my ass. Because I've had food poisoning and I haven't been able to leave my bed for four days. I'm also five months into this India trip and I'm starting to get a little bit fed up and I'm starting to lose my patience a little bit because there's only so many times you can tell a tuk-tuk driver that you don't want a lift. But it's okay. It's kind of my last official day in India. And there's one more thing I really want to do. Somewhere out there, there is an island, a very, very small island called Arunalam Lanka. Now, this island is home to over 200 fishermen who live so closely to society and civilization, yet they are so far removed. There are no schools on this island, yet they have their children there. There are no official ways of reaching this island. There's no bridges or any public transport. And they haven't celebrated Independence Day, Indian Independence Day for four years because of this lack of connection with the rest of India. Now I want to go to this island to check it out, investigate it and see what we can learn about this island that's so far removed yet so close to the huge main cities. But first, we need to figure out how to get there. Sir, how are you? Erul, Erulalam Lanka. Erulalanka. Erulalanka. Where is that? This way, this way. This way. Okay, I'll walk this way. Thank you. I can't find a lot of information about this island. All I know is, hang on a minute. There is a family getting onto a fishing boat, a small boat. Anna, how are you, sir? Hello, Anna, are you going to Arunalam Lanka? Telugu. Telugu, Lanka. Telugu, Nai. Telugu, Nai. Arunalam Lanka. Arunalam. Lanka, here. Uh, uh. You going? Uh. Can I come with you? Uh. Is that okay? Thank you. I can come? Um, Rupees, kid now, rupee. Huh? No English. No English. I don't know. I don't know. 500, 500. 500. 250. 250, 250. Okay. Okay. 250. Okay. Coming on 250. Chalo, 500. Let's do it. Thank you. Huh. Yeah. 500. Yeah, we'll do 500. Thank you, sir. Hi, how are you? Okay. We found a family. Hi. That are going to allow us. Thank you, sir. Um, they're traveling over to, uh, I think they're traveling to Arunalam Lanka, which is where we want to go. And uh, I said, how much you want? 500 rupees. 250 there, 250 back. And I think we can deal with that. I've literally only got 600 rupees in my wallet, though. Thank you, sir. So here, I'm in Andhra Pradesh. Here in Andhra Pradesh, there's no Hindi, there's no Tamil, there's no Malayalam, there is only Telugu. So this lovely family, they only speak Telugu. Telugu. I don't know any words in Telugu. We're going to try to learn some over here on the island. I don't know, I don't speak any Telugu. I don't understand. I'm trying to kind of converse with these women, but I'm not sure really what they're talking about. Something about church, religion, asking me about what, what religion or what faith I am. So you can see how kind of far out from the main... This is, uh, this is a big city. This is a city called Rajamundi. Rajamundi, right? They're laughing at me now. And the Lanka that we're going to is in the middle of this giant river that separates it kind of runs directly through the middle of Andhra Pradesh. So there isn't a lot of information online at all about this uh, island that I'm going to. They call it Lanka. 
the only thing I could find out about it uh, is an article that explains that for the past four years the people of this island have not celebrated Indian Independence Day. They haven't raised the national flag. This is due to there being no schools on the island and being no presence of authority or a presence of um, some kind of nationalism or some kind of patriotism and they just want to be left alone. They want to fish, they want to live on the island and they want to sell their fish in the city. And I'm really excited to see what it's going to be like. So I believe that now we are approaching the island, the Lanka as they call it. It's really interesting because this bridge, this is the, the bridge that the train, the train goes on, runs directly over the island. However, I guess there's no accessible way to get onto it. Pay sir, pay sir. Pay sir, pay sir. Pay sir. Pay sir for the children. Okay, Chalo, inside. He's like, give money to the kids. Give money to the kids. I know, I understand. Right. <laughs> we made it to the island. We made it to the island. I'm gonna give these kids a little bit of money then. Anna, come here. That's for sweets, okay? And give this to your sister. To your sister. Give it to your sister. <laughs> right, we sorted the kids out now. Now it's just the adults that we need to think about giving money to. We are in the hands of this man now and this family because um, we can't leave this island without him. Hi. Hi. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. This is exactly, exactly what the plan was. And it's just worked out. I get so lucky sometimes with these plans. I think I'm gonna go and do this thing that kind of seems a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Then it works. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, you would not think that we are totally in an urban developed area. Thank you, brother. The, um, the houses are made of straw roofs. Hello, madam. How are you? Uh, uh, hello. So, in this is church, Christian church. Wow. See, they've even got a little Christian church here. You're Christian. Christian, huh? Baptist. Baptist, Christian. Wow. Crazy. Hi. How are you? Hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say hello. 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 Wow, I'm good. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. Other than that, I feel pretty good. Thank you. This is, um, this is mental. This is mental. I do. F <laughs> I feel like I'm in a dream. This is weird. <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is, is this good water? Filter? Mmm. When someone in a small village like this hands you a big cup of water, you do get a little bit uh, suspicious of it because it's, I don't know how clean it is. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There's one perfect. Thank you. Thank you. This is so nice. I'm getting bananas and everything now. Brother, I'm just going for a walk. So this is the village of Lanka. <laughs> Hi. Beautiful dress. I love your dress. Sundar. What Sundar? 
Very nice. Even though people can't speak Hindi here, I feel like it's better than speaking English at them. I'm going to go for a walk, Anna, okay? Hello, madam. <laughs> We're on here. Ha. Ah, cha. Can we walk this way around? Hello, madam. There's something be there's something kind of ironically beautiful about a giant arch train bridge running over a small Lanka village. Pesa, pesa. Pesa. Ah. Yes, but I only have <laughs> I only have little pesa. Ah. No pesa, you just want any pesa. I'll keep my bloody ten rupees. Your your name? Asha Jyoti. Asha Jyoti. Your name? Sandhya. Sandhya. Parmala. Your name again? Shanti. 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 Everybody here in Lanka, the, the entire village um, relies on fishing. So the men will fish all day pretty much. And then the women take the fish into the market at six o'clock in the morning. And, and then sell the fish all day. That's how they make their living. I think the, the fact that they have this choice, they've obviously made this choice to remove themselves from the city remove themselves from society to live how they want to live uh, which is to fish and to live in peace other than the trains going over your head every now and then here you are there's some pace uh... okay sir mm. cello um i think we i think he wants to leave i think mate he wants to leave well this is lanka we came we saw we conquered bye bye it's a real shame that I can't speak Telugu because I've got so many questions for these guys. It's just such a huge language barrier. I just have to kind of figure it all out. Huh. You speak any English? Torah English? Ah, Telugu, Telugu. But? Telugu. Okay, so tonight at nine, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. What's happening at nine? Kya ho raha hai? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay. Huh. I don't understand. You speak any English? <laughs> Telugu, only Telugu. Uh. Yeah, okay. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Okay, madam. Thank you. Danyavad, see you tonight. I'll try to see you tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I woke up this morning and I said, I'm going to go to a fucking island in the, in the middle of a river. And we did it. See you. Yeah, it's, it's really, you know, these whole, the whole structure of the houses, they're just built with corrugated iron and straw roofs. I wonder if they're living here legally. I wonder if uh, the government comes in and checks up on them. I mean, it's essentially a gypsy camp. Oh, okay, you're from here? You're from Lanka? Yeah, I am from Korur. Korur. Uh, you're living here? Up I, am, up uh, I am living once upon a time. Once upon a time, you're from here? I am from here. Wow. How many people live here? Uh, 150 people. members. 150, 150 people? 150 people are there in living here. And the children, they go to school? Yeah. Children are 30 puppies. 30? And there's no school? School? School, school uh, I have no school. Huh. Why do people live here? Why not live in Rajamundi? Uh, fishing. Fishing. M main fishing. Padava, Padameda, Tijiva. Ha. Goes to school in the city. Ah, school. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. She goes to school in the city, huh? Ah, ah. Yes, of course, of course. Here, back to undo the school undo the. Opudu na present to live live. One year back, there was no schooling. Ah, nay. Ha ha. But the government, the government, they government. brought some schooling ah. to the ah. island. Parva, parva me da tiskel tiskoch. They bring the children ah. to the. I think I can speak Telugu. Do you think 
that the people here are happy. Yeah. Fresh air. Fresh air. Fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh fishing. Well, food. Good food. Exactly. This place provides. Why would you want to live in the no city pollution. with the exactly the no, no, pollution. no pollution? Why would you want to live in the city with the pollution and the smog and the dirt and the trash, where you can live in your own little haven? We've got fish in abundance. The air is cleaner, and all your friends and family live here. It's amazing, thank sir. Thank you I'm, so I'm much. Okay, let's go. Chalo. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, thank you. sir. Can I ask you a question? Have any foreigners been here before? What? Any foreigner? Has any foreigner, foreign like me, Whoa. Gora, come here? No, no, no. Never? Never. Never, yes! First time. Your first time. Uh, first time. First time, we plant the flag. I'm gonna plant the British flag. Can't say that, can't say that. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. First yeah, ever yeah. foreigner to come to this Lanka, come to this island. Boom. Bye everybody. Goodbye Lanka. See you. Wow, what awesome kids. What an awesome island. That was so cool. That was so special. Best 500 rupees I've ever spent in my life. Thank you. So that's it. That's the end of my time on the mysterious island village of Lanka. And it's also the end of my time here in India. Tomorrow I, I, I'm starting a 10 day meditation retreat and then I'm flying to Vietnam. If you made it to the end of this video, then you're probably someone that's watched my previous videos. And if you are, I just want to say thank you because you've, you know, the past five months we've done some really, really cool shit together. We've lived with, you know, a tribe of Tibetan nomads. We, uh, we traveled all over the depths of Nagaland, got chased out of a town in Rajasthan by gypsies. Uh, we, explore the vast extremes of Mumbai the whole thing's been really cool so if you did watch these videos I you know just the fact that one or two people watch a whole video is crazy something that I've made people are watching it it's mental it's mental uh, so thank you so much if you have been watching and keep watching because I'm gonna make so much more stuff I'll be back in India at the end of the year so thank you <laughs> thanks